Ladies and gentlemen, what's crack a locking? How y'all doing? And welcome back to the channel. You know what it is. It's your favorite gamer here. I'm the Puff Man, and I'm coming back to you with some more Cold War zombie glitches. In this one, we're going to be jumping into D Machina for a brand new crazy insane unlimited xp camel glitch this is totally epic guys it is brand new so if any time you guys enjoy this video you know what to do smash that like button if you guys are new to the channel you're gonna want to subscribe so hit that subscribe button with the bell notifications today's video is proudly sponsored by boss services these are my partners in all reliable Call of Duty services from level 1000 to camos and much, much more. For a cheap and legit price, go check them out. Link's going to be in the description below. Thanks for the sponsor, bosses. With all that being said, let's get into this glitch. Come on, baby. Let's go. All right, me amigos, this Sunday, Sunday, Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, April 31st. Baltimaniac, Oak Dogs, Dracota TV, and Etiquette will be battling out to complete four unique challenges together. This will be hosted by Gamenetics HQ on Twitch. That is G A M E N E T I C S H Q over on Twitch. So you guys are going to want to go ahead and follow them because they're going to be giving some crazy prizes and giveaways that day. Uh, prizes will be given out during the stream and we look forward to seeing you there so make sure you guys go ahead and follow gamenetics hq so you guys get your hands on some of those prizes oh yeah baby also at this point i would like to thank each and every one of you for your support it is truly amazing i love each and every one of you guys and i cannot thank you guys enough thank you guys all so much i mean thank you thank you thank you i love you guys we are currently going for that 20k mark 20,000 subscribers. Oh my goodness, you guys are just amazing. So first things first, we're going to hit that power switch, guys. We're going to interact with our two terminals, one on the left, one on the right, and that's going to activate our dark ether anomaly to go ahead and get our pack-a-punch part. I would also like to give a big shout out to My Heart Feels. He is the founder of this glitch. I will link his YouTube channel in the description below so you guys go leave him some subs, throw some likes up on his newest video, you know, show him that love. You guys know how we do, baby. So we're going to have this dark ether anomaly spawn in here. Now, before entering this anomaly i want you guys to have yourself at least seven thousand points or more so we could grab ourselves a few perks while we were inside of the dark ether now while we're inside of the dark ether this is the only time the wonder fizz machine will spawn in so either in the dark ether like we are in right now or 10 rounds after you've gone ahead and implemented the pack-a-punch part into the pack-a-punch machine. So once we're in the dark ether here and we have enough money, we're going to make our way up here to the penthouse area. We're going to interact with the perk machine. And these are the perks that I suggest. So mule kick, mule kick at a tier two, the zombies will drop ammunition for us. And you're also going to want to grab yourself some stamina up so we can run a lot faster when we're getting death barrier hits, where which we will be getting. So just keep that in mind as well and again before getting into the glitch we want to make sure our ether shroud is ready to go uh, another good tip here guys go ahead and hit those crystals break all those crystals it gives some pretty good goodies and i usually go ahead and break them just for the simple fact that i want to get the armor out of them so go ahead and do that grab your pack a punch part put your part into the pack a punch machine and uh we'll be ready to move on to the next step here so next thing I suggest doing is go ahead and shooting all these five blue orbs and it's going to put you into the coffin dance Easter egg. So go ahead and do that. At the end, we're going to get ourselves some free jug and everybody likes stuff that is free. Now, if you guys don't know where those orbs are, just go back into my YouTube channel. I got plenty of videos there. I think the most recent one as well. I show you guys where all those orbs are and stuff. Also, guys, every time you're in this dark ether, don't just sit around. Like, don't sit around, watch the coffin dance. Like, if you've seen it before, I mean, don't sit around. If you haven't seen it before, be my guest. Check it out, see what they're doing. But always go break your crystals, guys. You know, board up your windows, stuff like that. Do whatever it is you can do to go ahead and get more points here. That way there, as soon as we get out of the coffin dance Easter egg, we could pretty much pack a punch or we should be close to being able to pack a punch our weapon. 
So when the coffin dance Easter egg is done, you'll have this crate right here. You could go ahead and interact with it and we could get our free a jug. Now, hopefully you guys have enough money here to go ahead and pack a punch as well. If not, just keep on going until you're able to pack a punch at least the one time. Now we're ready to go here. We're going to be standing in this exact area right here. Make sure your crosshairs are lined up just like mine. Activate your ether shroud. You're going to be inside behind like this. You're going to make your way over here. And I will go through this in slow motion so you guys can see where I'm going. So once we go inside, we're going to be turning to our right and we're going to be going over here. Now, this box right here, you cannot see if you're on like the older gen consoles, but it is there. You could jump on top and then up one more time. And then you're going to want to go over here to the left hand side. And while you are here, all the zombies are going to pile up right here in front of us. But it gets more OP than this. You're going to go ahead, switch your field upgrade to Frenzy Guard. Now, once your Frenzy Guard is active, we're going to be jumping down here. Now, there's a safe area down here where you do not take death barrier hit so you can get ready so it's right here in this corner right here go ahead and stand here and then we're ready to move on from here we just got to go through a little bit of more things here so we're going to be going straight ahead and to the left so you're going to be cutting to the left here so right here cut to the left now you're going to activate your frenzy guard so it helps you out with the death barrier hits we're going to be going straight into the left here you're going to feel the first barrier jump over top the next one jump over top again now i've went a little too far here but no worries you do not take death barrier hits in this area and then we're going to be going inside of these green things right here now you can either stand right there where i just was or you're going to want like i suggest you you're going to be more over here that way there the hellhounds won't attack you from here they're just going to pile up and yeah man bob's your uncle on this one guys bada bing bada boom baby now if you want to get out you can make your way over here crouch and you're gonna look for your portal right here so the uh what is it called the ether tunnel you could get out by here now if you don't want to do that method you could also just use your ether shroud so ether shroud out and just like that i hope you guys enjoy this one let me know how it goes down in the comments below don't forget to smash that like button to keep my algorithm real subscribe that bell notifications on so you don't miss any of my awesome excellent videos get in the game glitch something out have some fun until next time I'm the Puff Man. Peace out.